Hi, Ryan from A&B, and we're here with the 2021 Merida E160 9000. This year, Merida has offered this model in six models, three alloy and three carbon. They start from $5,999 and work their way up to the 10K model, which is $13,999. The model we have here on test, which is the 9000 edition, it's $10,999. It's specced with full XT, Fox Performance with a Grip 2 damper in the fork, and also Shimano's new EP8 motor. Let's take a closer look at what makes the EP8 so special. First of all, you can see how much smaller the EP8 motor is over the E7000 and the E8000 motor. It's actually 300 grams lighter and it's a lot tighter package. You can see that whereas the motor came down and was quite proud at the bottom of the frame, it's now angled back and very well tucked up into the frame, keeping it a lot safer and away from debris. All the Merida E160s are spec'd with a 630 watt hour battery, which is internal, except for the extra small, which comes with a 504 watt hour battery. The way the battery is incorporated into the down tube makes it easily accessible and swapped out if required. The charge port itself is neatly situated on top of the motor itself. It's very well sealed and despite riding this bike in some pretty adverse conditions and also washing it after every ride, we've had absolutely no issues and no moisture seeping down into that port. Merida have also specced this bike with some nice Lazine lights. The headlight, which we have fitted at the moment, is hardwired into the system and it provides a really nice broad spread of the trail in front. Lastly, with the, the DI2 system itself, means that we've got access to Shimano's eTube app. So we might have a look at that now. So we've just connected to our Merida E160 9000 via the Shimano eTube app, which is connected via Bluetooth. And you can see up here it's connected. I'm gonna just go into Assist. We're gonna go across to the trail mode, which to be quite honest is the mode that I have left this bike in the majority of the time. We can see here that the level of the assistance character is seven out of 10, which is quite powerful. And that's the default setting. Maximum torque, 85 Newton meters, which is heaps. So 15 more than the old motor. And the assistance start level of five, which is very quick. So this particular mode is not gonna chew as much battery as boost but it is gonna offer very quick and snappy power off the bottom to get over those obstacles. So as you can see, there's a couple of little things that you can change within the Shimano eTube app. Um, the parameters of those three modes are the main thing that you would want to change on this particular bike. Let's take a look, closer look at the components that Merida have spec'd on the 9000 model. They've gone with Shimano's 12 speed XT group set it has performed absolutely flawlessly. The four pot XT brakes have worked really nicely. I do think that these Ice Tech rotors are probably a little bit flimsy for the application and we do understand that Shimano need a cooling fin to keep the overall temperature of the brake down, but I think something a little bit more solid and maybe a solid steel offering would be a little bit more durable. Looking at the wheels, Merida of spec DT Swiss's top alloy e-bike model. Um, the HX 1501s are absolutely brilliant. It's a 30 mil internal rim. Uh, they're built with a nice stainless steel washer behind the nipple. They're really bulletproof and they're laced around a hybrid DT240 hub. So a nice durable steel free hub body. Another big plus for this model Merida have spec'd it with double down tyres front and rear. Yes, they are heavier, but they also need a heavier sidewall to protect those rims. And it's really important 
Um, it means you can run slightly lower pressures, maintain grip and traction, the bike doesn't squirm around. With the Fox 38 up front, it's really a must for e-bikes. Either the Zeb or the 38 both have 38 mil stanchions. Obviously all these super capable all mountain trail enduro e-bikes, they're under a huge amount of load. I like the way the E160 handles. The geometry is modern without being too progressive. It has a 65.5 degree head angle, which while on a little bit on the steeper side, it does have a 29 inch front wheel, so it still rolls over things really nicely. It has a 460 mil reach, which for a size large that we have on test here is very comfortable for me. I'm 178 centimeters and I prefer a slightly longer bike. So 460 reach is bang on for me. It also has a 439.5 mil chainstay, which when paired with the mullet or 27.5 rear wheel makes it very maneuverable. You can see with the standover, it's quite low, which enables our size large test bike to have a 170 mil dropper post. With that seat tube angle, it's a claimed 75.5 degree seat tube angle. The wheelbase itself for our size large is 1238 mils, which is bang on for a size large for a you know trail enduro or mountain bike at the moment. The fact that this is an e-bike and it's sharing the same geometry that you know we know and love on other bikes that we've tested that aren't e-bikes. I think Merida have done a very very good job at sort of mimicking those characteristics that we already know and love and putting it into an e-bike package that you see here today.